So here we are. Uh, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be configuring the View Administrator. You know, I'm going to be adding View Composer and vCenter Server into the mix, and I'm going to be showing you around what the View Administrator is all about. I need to show you where everything is configured. I'm not going to configure it just yet. I'm just going to configure the vCenter Server and the View Composer, and I'm going to show you some nuances associated with that. And I'm going to show you around the vCenter, uh, the uh, View Administrator. Uh, environment or the interface. So let's get to it so you can see how this works, okay? I've got the View Composer already installed. Here's my connection server. And come on, get going. Come on. There we go. And I'm going to uh, log into this thing. And I've got the View Administrator. And I'm going to get out of this because you know it's going to time out. I'm going to go into it again. Continue on and log in. And it's getting in. I'm going to open up the view configuration and I'm going to go to servers. Right now none of the servers are configured. Here's vCenter servers. Yes, I can have multiple of those. That's not configured. I don't have security servers configured. Uh, I don't have a connection servers already there, right there. I don't have transfer servers configured either, okay? Because I don't have transfer servers installed. All right. So I'm going to add a vCenter server. Server address vcs main.class.edu. I can put in an IP address too there if I want. And this username right here, always put in the domain name followed by the username. I know it sounds kind of strange. Even though you could put the, you know, you can put the description here or whatever, but always put the domain name followed by a backslash. Thank you for viewing our short demo video. For more information on K-Alliance's e-learning videos, please visit us at www.kalliance.com or call us at our U.S. toll-free number 1-800-330-9111.